Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day so far and welcome to today's video where I'm going to be sharing 10 lipstick formulas or lip formulas that still wow me and still have something special and different about them in 2024. These are my all time favorite formulas for one reason or another and they actually stand out in amongst my unbelievably insane number of lipsticks and lip products that I now own. These formulas wow me and stand out and draw me to use them over all others and they really feel special and different for some reason or another. So that's what I'm gonna be sharing with you guys today. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so not only have I got my sort of top 10 lip formulas here in front of me for you today, I've also tried my best to choose like my favorite shade in each formula, <laughs> I know. But don't hold me to it, okay? Because I may change my mind tomorrow, okay? I'm just, I did my best. It was it was a struggle, it was very, very hard, and I've tried my hardest to get what I think is most of the time my favorite shade. <laughs> so let's start off with an unbelievably wow factor, super duper special matte lipstick in bullet form, of course. You more than likely have guessed it is Lisa Eldridge's Velvets. <gasps> These are just so special from the way that they just like glide over your lips to the insanely intense pigmentation of them to the stunning velvety finish to the velvet texture of the bullet to the packaging to the colors available that are so unique and nuanced that they just are undefeated. This shade that is my absolute favorite is Velvet Enchantment. It was so hard to pick a favorite out of these. Between Cinnabar, Affair, Intrigue, I just, there were just so many that I absolutely love. Lisa is so clever at coming up with shades that have just these little nuances to them and these stories behind them that feel so romantic and special. But she just is very clever at creating shades that work for so many skin tones and flatter so many skin tones. So many times I've purchased a load of her lip colors and thought that some aren't gonna suit me, I'm just buying them for the review, only to for those shades to become an absolute new favorite because she's just so clever at making shades work and just tweaking undertones to suit skin tones and to flatter you that shades that you never normally would have reached for or chosen to purchase end up being one of your all-time favorite lipsticks these velvets are so comfortable they wear so beautifully they are just stunning on the lips. The amount of intense pigmentation with a barely touched application, that was such a light touch, it's just unbelievable. They are so special. My favorite like bullet matte lipstick of all time. They are just unbelievable. I have so many of them and I want more, more, more. Give me all of them. Give me some more shades, Lisa, I beg you. And now a very different kettle of fish, if you will, the Dior lip oils. I was so late to the game with these, so late to the game, because I just thought, what's a lip oil? What do I need it for? It's barely any color. I wear these so much. The Several of these shades just live permanently in my handbag because they are just the perfect on the go, easy going lip product. So comfortable and light. They look so beautiful, shiny and glossy and plump and juicy, but just with a pinch, a hint of something. If I'm going like makeup free and I just want a little bit, maybe I've put on a little bit of the of SPF and some mascara. I can still wear this and just my lips look glorious, but without it looking like I've got a bare face of makeup and a lipstick on, you know? I just think they're so beautiful. There isn't a single sticky bit about them. They feel absolutely delightful on the lips. This is my favorite shade, 061. I think it's Poppy Coral. Gorgeous, they're just perfect summery lip as well. So comfortable, they feel amazing on the lips and I just love the sort of juicy finish of these. 
so easy going. Next up we have Charlotte Tilbury's Superstar Lips. These are so infuriating because these are gotta be in my sort of top three or four formulas of all time, but there are very few shades available for some reason and everyone I know who's tried these feels the same way that I do about them. We love them. Please bring back the shades that have been discontinued. Please give us more. They're amazing. This is my favorite formula from Charlotte Tilbury. I love all of Charlotte Tilbury's formulas. I thought about including her um, kissing formula because I love that one as well, but this is my favorite. We just don't have enough shades of it. This is the shade Happy Lips and it's one of my favorite lipsticks ever, but for some reason this color is discontinued. How pretty is that? These feel so buttery. They have the perfect amount of colour. I love that smaller bullet. They're very lipstick friend, uh, lipstick friendly? They're very handbag friendly, I should say. Pocket friendly. Very small, slim line, lovely packaging. The perfect amount of shine. The perfect creamy feel. The perfect amount of pigmentation. This shade in particular, Happy Lips, is stunning. I don't understand what's happening with this formula. There are a few shades available that seem to be like permanent, but it's very, very few. When you look at Charlotte Tilbury's other formulas, this one just stands out for me because it's got that gorgeous, much shinier finish than her kissing lips, but so light and comfortable. Absolutely gorgeous. Please bring them back and give us more, Charlotte Tilbury. What's going on? But if you're looking for something as close to those superstar lips as possible, the closest I have managed to find are these Sisley ones. These are the Phyto Rouge Shine lipsticks. My favorite shade from these. This was a hard one, okay, because I have a lot of these and I love them dearly. But I've gone with Sheer Coral. You know I love a coral lipstick. This packaging is stunning. And look at that finish. It's almost metallic, definitely thinner than the Charlotte Tilbury and just the most, again, perfect amount of shine, perfect amount of color that you can apply on the go. The packaging is stunning. I love that these are refillable as well. So you can save a bit of money just by one component and switch in the colors back and forth. Really gorgeous summer, perfect lipsticks. I love how shiny these are but also very flattering. There's no plumping in here either. So if you don't like that, like I don't, these are gonna be really nice and comfortable and balmy, just gorgeous. And so many pretty shades as well, but they're all quite easy going. Just know that the application is gonna get messier and messier as we continue. Another formula from Lisa Eldridge that I just cannot get enough of, and this time it's her Luxuriously Lucens. The special thing about these, again, like all of Lisa's formulas, is the shades, the undertones, how well they suit and how well they complement and flatter your skin tone and how wearable shades that you didn't think you could wear actually are and they're just so unique and special the colors this formula was my favorite until quite recently very light and very buildable and very very much adjustable to what you're looking for you can get an absolute sheer amount of color or you can really build up the intensity of these my favorite shade unfortunately in this line is go lightly because it is discontinued shade but let's see how versatile the pigmentation is in this formula So that's sort of one swipe of the shade. It is a very bright shade, but still very wearable and flattering. But do you see how much you can build the color? So again, it's like you've got three lipsticks in one and they feel heavenly. They feel like You've got nothing on your lips, but you're they're so because they're so light, but your lips just feel so buttery 
and hydrated and smooth absolutely stunning this shade in particular is so unique it's so special there's just something about the undertone that makes it really stand out you know when you put this on that is go lightly i can see it a mile away when someone else is wearing it it's just gorgeous so special so unique the formula is flipping delightful and there's a million shades to choose from and every single one of them will be your new favorite they just flatter so much every skin tone they're just she's so clever with colors now when it comes to glosses my absolute favorite are the hourglass phantom glossy balms these do have that plumping tingly sensation which i don't typically love but it's not so intense in these that i don't mind it and so many beautiful colors these just give you such a gorgeous plump juicy youthful looking lip this is the shade rouse and this is my favorite from this line because it's a bit richer and it's just something a bit different to everything else that i own glass like shine it's so shiny but there is no stickiness whatsoever no pulling no nothing and yes it does have that slight tingling sensation but it's not overpowering it doesn't hurt it's not too much but it does give you these stunning, pouty, glossy, plump looking lips that feel so hydrated. And they're just the juiciest looking lips you've ever seen in your life. The shine, it's mirror, glass-like shine, stunning so pretty next up probably my all-time favorite formula of any lip product that i've ever tried in my life it is the dior addicts what is super special about these as you will notice from this top 10 video i love a sort of medium opacity very shiny thin balmy type of formula that's kind of my go-to preference what stands out from this line these dior addicts hydrating shine lipsticks from dior they are thin they have the perfect sh very shiny finish they're very lightweight they have a stunning range of components to choose from they are refillable so you can mix and match between shades and save yourself money buying refills instead of buying a component every time but it's the range of shades there are so many to choose from i have like probably 30 of these i don't need more even let me try and count it's got to be close to 30 i can't quite see from where i'm sitting but i have so many of them and so many that i absolutely love there's always two or three of these in my handbag there are just so many shades there's something for everybody every skin tone every preference from the lightest to the richest color reds pinks corals plums berries browns neutrals nudes peaches like you name it they've got 10 in every shade it's such an outstanding color range that you cannot fail to find a shade that works beautifully for you that you love my absolute favorite in this whole line is coral delight and this is a discontinued shade i don't know why it's like my favorite ever the others that i absolutely adore if you want one that's easier to get hold of than this would be mimi rose which is a little lighter than coral delight i also love love coral bobby um I think that's what it's called or bobby coral one of the two that's a little brighter than this one this one for me is just the perfect coral for every day it's not so bright that you'd feel like a little out there on the school run or you know putting the bins out it feels very wearable but still coral and still fun and still very summery but the feel of these the fragrance the packaging the sheer number of colors to choose from the finish the amount of pigmentation everything about these is my absolute sweet spot of a lip formula i love these so much they're just perfect everything i could wish and dream for from a lipstick and this is my favorite shade it's just the sweetest spot not too bright not too light not too dark hmm <clears throat> <clears throat> why is it discontinued bring it back dior i beg you i'm gonna run out soon and then i'll be furious and my final lisa eldridge formula of the video and i think my new favorite formula from lisa eldridge is the balm embraces these are so perfect when it comes to the finish of these 
I think I might even prefer the finish of these to the Dior slightly, but there are nowhere near as many shades. I'm sure Lisa is going to give us more. I really hope so, because the finish of these is stunning. This is Sweet Fig, which is just the most perfect everyday nude shade. It's so pretty. I love this skinnier packaging and it's not magnetic, so it doesn't cause you a problem with storage like her other lipsticks sometimes do. But the finish of this, it's so buttery. It literally looks like you sort of wipe some butter on your lips, but it feels so comfortable and light and hydrating and they're so pretty the perfect amount of pick you know i was swiping this on for about a week then and it's just so easy going so easy to pop in your pan bag and do on the run you don't need a mirror the perfect feeling and lightness for summer so hydrating i wish we had a hundred more shades i would buy them all there's just something very flattering and smoothing about the finish there's no like it literally probably half the amount of visible lip lines that I have. And without there being any plumping or tingling, my lips look smoother and fuller and plumper because they are just so hydrated that these are so beautiful. I absolutely fell head over heels for them. I want more shades. Give me more shades, okay? I need them all. And now for some non-budging lipsticks which isn't really my type of lipstick i hate liquid mattes i've yet to find one that doesn't on some level dry out my lips and just be less comfortable than these other formulas that we've mentioned so far but these dior forever bullet matte lipsticks are completely transfer proof budge proof life proof without being a liquid dry down matte so they have all the comfortability of a normal matte bullet lipstick but with the extra longevity and transfer proof and wear resistant what and amazingly long wearing lipsticks without that sort of setting down drying liquid feeling that can really dry out your lips and make them flake this is shade 547 and it has a metallic finish so despite it being a matte that sets to your lips it looks almost like a gloss it's just so pretty and unique this particular shade it's like a peachy with a gold sort of shift looks like a gloss or a shiny lipstick but if you give it a minute to dry down do you see that these are so amazing, so clever, so comfortable, but they will be on your lips all day, all night, and nowhere else. They'll make it through a meal, three courses, drinks, coffee, pudding, ice cream, whatever you want, and they're only going to stay on your lips. <laughs> Miraculous, so clever, and much more comfortable than a drying down liquid lipstick, in my opinion. And finally, possibly, probably, the most clever of them all is the Chanel Dublatineu lipsticks. These are unbelievably clever. Again, I wish they would restock a lot of shades. I wish they had more and they would give us newer shades. This is Chanel's best product, in my opinion. It's so clever, so special. This is kind of a dry down liquid lipstick that is glossy, that doesn't transfer, and that will wear through a dinner, a meal, drinks, coffee, whatever you want they are unmatched brands have tried dior tried it but failed <laughs> these feel somehow like a really creamy balmy buttery lipstick but they don't transfer i've never understood it it's like magic this is my favorite shade and it is endless pink so with these you have a double end so you have the lipstick on one end Do you see how like your lips put better this shade is? So you apply your colour, beautiful, very natural and understated, and then you wait for the colour to become a bit tacky. You see how my lips was like sticking together then? That means it's ready, it's cooked. And then you go in with the other end, which is a clear gloss.
and you end up with this stunning glass-like shine. But miraculously, again, if you give these a couple of minutes to set down, they will be transfer proof and they will make it through a meal, drink, dinner. I know you don't believe me, okay? I, whenever I go out and I wear one of these, I will always, if I go out for dinner, if I go to an event, if I'm going for drinks, whatever, I will almost always choose to wear one of these because there's just nothing else like them that gives me this shine that I love and this finish that's so beautiful, but I won't have to reapply it for the whole night. I know it's going to be there through dinner, through drinks. And I just love to do like a magic trick. I always show the girls, if anyone says, oh, I love your lipstick, I'll be like, wait, watch this, watch this. I'm sorry, what? It's like my party trick. I just love doing it. I, I, anyone who mentions my lipstick, even if you don't mention my lipstick, if I'm wearing one of these, I'm going to show you it. I'm gonna come up to you and go, watch this, you see that? You see that? Pardon? What? How do they do it? It's just so clever. They are unmatched, so special, so amazing. Give me some more, please. Don't you dare discontinue them. I feel like they're going to. <laughs> Stop it. Okay, so there you have it. Those are my top 10 most special, unique, standout lip formulas that I have ever tried, that have ever graced my drawers. Please, I beg you, tell me what is your number one lip formula? If I have to choose, so do you, okay? It's only fair. All right, please tell me if you think I haven't tried a really amazing lip formula that I need to get on board with, let me know in the comments section down below. But thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. And I would love to see you in the next one. Otherwise, take care for now. Bye, 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 bye.